Hey everyone, I'm here today to kick off a series of videos that I actually posted on my vlog channel before it became my vlog channel. I decided to do a little channel cleanup and move all of my non-vlog videos to my main channel. I was actually really excited to be reposting this series because I am so proud of it. It was a ton of work to tidy my condo using the Comrie method and this is essentially a 30-day challenge. The other reason I wanted to repost this series is because I'm amazed by how much the tidying actually worked. So I'm here today to do a little intro to let you know what to expect over the next 30 days. Some videos are going to be posted pretty much as they were when I first did the tidying challenge two years ago, and a few of the videos will have little updates appended to them very similar to this one. In all of the videos though, I will update the description box to let you know any information I think is interesting because I feel like it's important to circle back and see whether the tidying actually did change my life and spoiler alert it definitely did so with this short preamble out of the way let's jump in to the video I recorded two years ago the kickoff video where I initially developed the mindset to start this challenge we're gonna time warp to two years ago starting now first discovered the life-changing magic of tidying up towards the latter half of 2014 I started with this method but I didn't get the entire way I probably did close both books and papers and then I just completely lost steam when I got to Komono which is the miscellaneous items category. You'll notice with this series and with the calendar I've put together that Komono really takes up a huge chunk of time in the 30-day challenge. I'm not sure how accurately the Netflix series depicted the timing for the tidying process but it seemed like a lot of the families were able to tidy within around 30 to 40 days so I am motivated and inspired to try to tackle my home within the 30 days. You don't have to do the 30-day challenge like I am. Perhaps you want to spend more time on day one before moving on to what I've allotted for day two, but maybe you want to do that in a week rather than each consecutive day. So please do feel free to use the calendar and the categories to suit whatever timing works best for you. This video is being filmed in advance of the tidying challenge because I really wanted to focus on mindset on this day zero. On the calendar, you'll notice that I set aside this day to determine your vision, to set your intention, and to greet your home. There was a passage that really struck me in the life-changing magic of tidying up, and I want to quickly read that to you now. What do you hope to gain through tidying? Before you start getting rid of things, take the time to think this through carefully. This means visualizing the ideal lifestyle you dream of. If you skip this step, not only will it delay the whole process, but it will also put you at a higher risk for rebound. Goals like, I want to live clutter-free, or I want to be able to put things away are too broad. You need to think much more deeply than that. Think in concrete terms so that you can vividly picture what it would be like to live in a clutter-free space. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to determine your vision and set your intention. The other thing that I wanted to talk about is greeting your home. The Tidying Up series on Netflix was incredibly emotional for me. I felt so much watching every single episode and those feelings and seeing how the families were changed by this process made me want to do the Komori method again, but I felt even more strongly about it than I did before. Before, I would always say, oh, I really should do this, I really want to do this, but I didn't have the inspiration and motivation to propel me to take that first step. The Netflix series did that for me and the greeting your home segments in each video were very moving. I not only felt so much positive energy from Marie Kondo herself, but it was also neat seeing the family's reactions to the respect she was paying to their home. You could almost see that the families saw their home in a new light. I can attest that in 2015, 2016, 2017, and 2018, I started developing more respect for my belongings and for the home itself. Whereas before, I was really cavalier about my things, and I didn't really think of the home or objects as things to respect. But having respect for your home and for your objects equals having respect for yourself because your home and the objects contained therein are extensions of you. As I go through the entire Komori method in this series of videos, I'm going to establish a mindset and lay a proper foundation to set myself up for success. If you're watching this video and interested in trying the tidying challenge, let's take this time on day zero to develop a vision 
to set our intention and to greet our home. When you want to move forward or make a big change, I think it's so important to assess everything that you have in your life. And in the next 30 days, I'm going to be doing that with everything I have in my home. Just a few practical notes on the videos that will follow. These videos will essentially serve as a series that you can watch on consecutive days. Or if you're extending the challenge past 30 days, you can watch each video as you come to that point in your tidying process. Each video is going to focus on a small subset of categories and all of these categories are laid out on the 30-day calendar that I put together. In each video I'm also going to share with you tips and tricks on things that I've learned from Marie Kondo's books, from the Netflix series, and from my personal experience with this process. I have a husband who of course has his own things. He is not partaking in this challenge, nor am I tidying his things for him. I am only tidying my possessions and also the possessions of our pets. I have a feeling he'll tidy in fits and starts when he sees my space becoming more tidy, but I will leave that to him and his own motivation. I'm also going to save the before and after photos for the end. Marie Kondo strongly advises to finish discarding first so I want to go through all of my possessions and then think about organization. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Once again, I will leave the link down below to any downloadable calendars from my website if you want to partake in this journey with me. If you've done the Comrie method on your own home, I would love to hear about your experience. Please let me know down below what you thought of the method, how you did throughout the process, and whether the effects were long lasting. I will see you all tomorrow for day one of the 30 day tidying challenge. We're gonna be starting in the clothing category. Until then, please take care and bye for now.